Hello, this is a video on the BT Hawk, another bit of test equipment uh, which I was testing or uh, managed to get hold of. Uh, have a look in my videos for one on the BT JDSU and also the BT Mole, which is another bit of test equipment. This one, when I initially unpacked it, was faulty, couldn't get it to switch on no matter whether you put a battery in it or anything. Um, but that's what it looks like. The front screen cover is also missing or has been cut away. On the top of it, you've got all the test connections and a uh, place to plug a power lead in, and also a serial connection to connect it into a computer. Surprisingly, this thing also supports Bluetooth. Um, I'm not sure what it can connect to or uh, what software you'd pair it with, but it can connect to Bluetooth. So on this one, there's substantial uh, corrosion on the battery terminals and knowing some of the wires had come disconnected that was my attempt at trying to reconnect some of the broken jumper wires I just couldn't get it to work at all so it's, it's uh, so badly corroded it just wasn't making contact so this thing's made by Spirit and it's item code 007307 I have little to no idea how to use this device. It's this the first time I've ever switched it on and seen it, so what you're going to see is me just pressing through certain functions, um, seeing what it does, and um, seeing what the screens look like, so hopefully this is interesting. It has a backlight, which is very convenient, and this is what the front screen looks like. Unlike the last two videos, I didn't have a faulty phone line to plug this into. Uh, so what you're seeing is me going through the menus with nothing connected to its test ports. So unlike the Mole and the JDSU, the Hawk comes with a remote unit, which is something you can plug in, I guess, at the other end of a telephone line, so you'd leave that at the customer's house or possibly in the exchange or the cabinet and connect it into the phone line, and it can do several things. I think it can pass through the phone line through to the um, end where you're doing the testing from, it can disconnect it, it can put tones across the line um, remotely without you having to go back to the cabinet or back to the exchange or back to the customer's house uh, to, to change stuff over. So this one, I've powered up the remote unit and I'm trying to film both the remote unit and the um, the Hawk at the same time, which isn't ideal, but here's what it looks like.
my own. As I will. This screen is the TDR or the time domain reflectometry test, uh, which would tell you where there is a break in the cable um, if this was connected to a faulty phone line. Uh, if you're interested in how that works, have a look at the uh, JDSU or the BT Mole videos, uh, which I've made, which shows what it looks like when you have a uh, genuinely faulty phone line attached to one of these test bits of equipment. And for those of you who may be interested, here is a dodgy copy of the manual. It looks like taken from a training workshop at Accenture, which I guess some engineers must have been sent on, and probably photocopied 300,000 times until you can only just about read what's on the page and see the photos. Hopefully this video has been interesting to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.
Hopefully this video has been interesting to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.